This will be your husband's favorite lunch. A complete and economical lunch. I'm going to start this recipe using three already peeled potatoes. And I'm going to cut them into rounds that way. Then in a pan with hot oil, I'm going to add the potatoes that we cut to fry. I will add a little salt as the potatoes begin to brown. I will remove them from the pan and set aside to you soon. Now in another pan I will add olive oil used to taste. With the olive oil hot, I'm going to add a chopped onion. I'm going to stir it so that it fries well. Next I'm going to add half a red bell pepper chopped. Half a green bell pepper. Finally, half a yellow bell pepper, also chopped. I will mix everything very well. Once that's done, I'll add 500 grams of ground beef, a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper. I will mix it all together very well. Perfect recipe to make when you don't have much time to cook. Now I'm going to add a tablespoon of tomato extract. Again, I'm going to mix everything very well. Do it, then try it. The flavor will surprise you. I'm going to mix it well, incorporating it into the other ingredients while it cooks. After you make it, you'll want to make it again and again, because it's simple to make and the taste is incredibly delicious. Once that's done, let's move on to the next step of our recipe. In another pan, I'm going to assemble our recipe, where I'm going to position part of the potatoes that we reserved previously, positioning them this way. Next, I'm going to add some of the mixture we prepared earlier, creating a thin layer on top. I'm going to add mozzarella cheese. Use as much as you like. I will repeat the process of creating two more layers of our recipe, adding in the same order as we did so far. Knead it and let it cook for five minutes or until the cheese melts. Time, our amazing recipe is ready. Anyway, I'm off to cut a slice to taste this wonderful recipe. You must try it. My family loves it. I make it every week. Once you make it, I guarantee it will become a routine in your house. I hope you enjoyed our recipe.